What's going on guys? Twitter Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're trying to get to 6 wins and reveal a diamond reward for you guys. 6 likes, 6 comments, 6 subscribers as we're on the road to 17k. You guys know, if you saw the last video, Immortal Chipper Jones might be my favorite immortal. 5 for 6, his last at bat of the video. Had a walk off, but he was early, so it was foul. And then we got our first out with him. But three dingers, nine RBIs, one of them a walk off grand slam tater. So hoping he can do the same in this video. I really, really like this lineup as long as I can pitch and not give up six runs like I did in the only loss I have so far. This is a 12-win team. Let's go get win number four right now. We are playing the Minnesota Twins. Our opponent has, I really want to try this card, Future Stars, 85, Tyler O'Neill, followed by Matt Olson, Jonathan Scoopy, 72, Brad Miller, Scott Shubler, 80, Bradley, Jackie Jr., Wellington Castillo, 77, Nolan Arenado, uh, Mendez on the mound lefty for Mike Napoli home team let's get win number four Jonathan scope three and one to immortal chipper I would not mind a walk ball four to immortal chipper Jones our first base runner of the game here in the bottom of the second inning Mike Aviles had a huge walk off homer yesterday he's he's not been doing too well but the, I think he has two hits for me and the two hits he have uh ha has gotten um have been big ones That wasn't a hit, and it was a uh, worst, probably the worst thing that could have happened <laughs> in that situation. We are probably going to the third inning, tied 0-0, unless Jed Lowry can get. I'm pretty sure my first hit of this BR with him because I can't. I, I have decent numbers with him overall until this BR. Or I, I guess I should say I had decent numbers because this BR, me and Jed are not connected, man. I don't know what it is, but I struggle with him. See, he sucks, man. I don't know what it is. He just can't hit the ball. It doesn't make any sense, man. It's weird. So, two down. Two strikes. Babe Ruth pinch hitting here in the third inning. I throw a changeup down the middle. And we're down to our final three outs in this BR. Because of this pitch right here. And this leads me into something that I wanted to talk about. I was hoping it would be like... Talking about in talking about it in a positive way. So I'm trying to number one mix up pitch selection, okay, and number two mix mix up pitch location because you guys probably know I throw only low pitches and, and it's pretty much only low changeups. That th this is the pitch that I throw majority of the time. Uh, my opponents seem to get used to it. That's that's what a lot of people do. So my opponents seem to expect it a lot of the time. And I've been trying to mix up pitch location. And just pitch type this entire game and it's been going well. We had but we had Babe Ruth in an 0-2 count. An 0-2 count. And I'm sitting here like, oh yeah, I'm gonna throw a changeup on the outside corner, get him out, and then talk to you guys about this and what I've been doing, what I've changed this game that has allowed me to not give up a base hit yet this game. And I of course hang the changeup. Down the middle. So now we got Yasmani Grandal, Kevin Pillar, pitcher spot coming up to bat. And these are literally my final three outs of this battle royale here. Um, my bench, do I want to pitch it for Pillar? Because I'm batting 200 with him. Um, Hanley Ramirez, 262, bro. None of these other guys I've used even. Uh, and so I, I want to bring in Hanley for... I want to bring in Hanley for the pitcher spot, man. Yasmani, he doesn't get a lot of hits for me. Only 262 average, but when he does, they're huge homers. You guys see the top of my lineup, Napoli, Griffey, Chipper. If I can get to those guys, if I, if I can get to Napoli, I got faith in myself to win this game. But if I get a 1-2-3 inning here, I mean, <laughs> if I get a 1-2-3 inning, obviously I, obviously I lose. But if I can get at least one base hit... With that 405 average, that 474 average, and then, uh, man, Ryan Braun. I might have to switch him and Chipper if I win this game. Uh, if I can get to the top of my lineup, I got faith in this team. You guys are going to see this entire inning. I got to be patient. Probably not going to talk a lot because I do want to focus. Yeah, it's Monty Grandal leading us off. Here we go. 1-0. Four-seam slider cutter change. Oh, man, I'm already nervous. This isn't good. 
2-0. I really have wanted to swing at the first two pitches, but I looked close, so I'm like, nah, I won't swing. Yasmani Grandol! He doesn't get a lot of hits, but when he does, they're huge, baby. Tie in the game, no doubt about it. Oh, man. Let's go, dude. Both of our first hits of this game. Kevin Pilar now. Both of our first hits of this game were dingers. I, I just find that kind of funny. Uh, we got pitcher spot coming up. I'm going to bring in uh, Hanley Ramirez. We're getting to the top of the lineup now, no matter what, because of that dinger. We got a good opportunity to win this game in this inning. Oh, man. I shouldn't have swung. I was being so patient, you guys, for the for the first hitter. And then here I am not being patient anymore. But we got Mike Napoli coming up. Then we got Griffey. Like, we're in a really good spot right here. Not my pitch, man. Want to know. I almost went around, though. 2-0. Hitters count to Mike Napoli here. Let's go. I thought it was a strike. 3-0 to Napoli. I got the green light for myself. Ball four. So now, double play opportunity is there. But Ken Griffey Jr., you guys know, 474 average. It was like 200 points higher at the start of this BR. Either way, though, man, he's bringing in a righty to face him. And I got, I got a lot of faith in Griffey to do well for us. As he walks it off, baby, we are... Oh, my goodness. He walks it off. We're four and one. Let's go get win number five in this video. Yo, GG to head money. I feel like we've played before too. I kind of recognize your name. Either way, man, good game. I'm currently four and one. I'll be sure to message you back right now. We are playing the Twin Ports North Stars. They have 80 Peter Borges, 88 Jackie, Immortal Cal, Jesus Aguilar, Matt Chapman, Rugnado Dor, Hunter Pence, Jeff Mathis, Tyler Chatwood, a righty on the mound. We got De Los Santos on the mound again, home team. Looking for win number five. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ryan Braun. I've sucked with him in this BR. I don't know what it is, but I've just done so bad with him. He's going to be getting at least a triple. If he throws third, I'm going home. Uh, never mind. That was a really hard throw. Immortal Tipper Jones coming up with a chance to drive in a run here. Let's go, baby. Chipper Jones, another dinger. He cannot be stopped his sixth hit for me his fourth home run it's not gonna count because our opponent quit before the ball even landed but chipper jones making him rage quit before the ball even lands we're five and one with this team let's get win number six reveal that diamond reward for you guys right now we're playing the charleston cougars our opponent has d gordon 81 starling castro justin smoke Corey dickerson 82 scold or jeanette Andrew McCutcheon, 72, Jason Giambi, Francisco Cervelli, Enrique Velasco is on the mound. We got Bryce Wilson on the mound. I feel like we keep getting this dude on the mound a lot of games. Him and De Los Santos. Uh, we're the home team looking for win number six right here. And we're killing them, man. We're seeing the ball well. Mike Napoli leading off the game with a dinger. Let's go, man. We are probably going to get to six wins in this video. I know I'm getting cocky. I shouldn't because whenever I do, I seem to lose games. But... I'm actually starting to, starting to hit okay, and I'm starting to, to it seems like pitch okay. This entire BR, I've actually pitched, you know, pretty well. Now I'm hitting terribly. Look at this. This entire BR, I honestly have not done that bad at pitching, except for the only game where I took an L, and I gave up four dingers uh, in six runs that game. So we did score three runs, though, but... Got to make sure my pitching is under control. Got to stay in this hitting groove, not be impatient like that. And this could easily be a 12-win team for me. And based on how it's going this game, I think it should be a 6-win team. And we'll at least be going for a diamond tomor tomorrow. As Immortal Tripper Jones coming up to bat. That home run sadly did not count last game. I would love to hit another one that actually counts. Mike Aviles. He doesn't get a lot of hits, man. But when they do, when, when he does, they seem to be pretty pretty far. Uh, as he almost hits a home run, ends up getting a triple instead. If you guys have been paying attention to the PCI feedback on that homer and that triple, my hits have not been my best contact. 
It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, my home run and that one, the PCI, I, I, like, the, the yellow circle wasn't really even on the ball. And then I don't think you guys saw this one, and I can't remember who it was with, but I pretty much squared up a ball on the PCI and flew out. It was a deep fly out, but it's just, it's weird to me how, I guess not how, but what is resulting in, in like, home runs and base hits and everything. It's just kind of strange so far. No, Jason Giambi getting a leadoff hit here in the top of the third inning. We're three outs away from winning this game, revealing the diamond reward for you guys. See who we're going for in tomorrow's video. Tony Watson on the mound. I feel pretty good right now. Obviously, that could change here in a few batters. You know, I, I, I hang a change up. He hits a home run. I, I did hang a change it right there. Luckily, though, it's not a dinger. And uh, the game could change pretty quick. All I got to do to win, I, I honestly think it's just hit my spots. Don't hang pitches, and I really do think we should win this game. Jose Bautista getting a base hit now. See, it's not over, you guys. I can't get too cocky. Uh, he's going to send him to second. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, man. So runners on in second and third. I'm going to pitch to D. Gordon. This might be stupid, but we got lefty on lefty. I I've gotten him to strike out a few times this game. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go back to what I know is working to get him out. And uh, there we go. See, just like that, we're one out away from revealing the diamond for you guys. And all I got to do, be smart, not hang anything. And that's the ball game. We're 6-1. and one. Let's go ahead and reveal that diamond. Nine win reward for you guys. Mike Napoli with the dinger. That's all we needed that game. Got a little close at the end. But we're pulling out with the victory. Um, lately, I've been losing before we can even get to six wins. So I'm glad we got to six wins. I'm going to try to get to nine like I said this video, like I said last video, if I can pitch, and obviously hit, so I need to score at least one run, but if I can just pitch, I really think this is a 12-win team, especially with the offense we have. Napoli, Griffey, Jones. I'm going to switch Jones and Braun around too uh, for next video because Braun is struggling for me. But man, this has been such a good team for me, and we're going to be going for Joey Votto tomorrow. He's down to an 85 overall. I think he would have been worth a little bit more stubs last year, but I think he should still be worth a fair amount. And he is worth 30,000. I will take 30,000 stubs if I can get to nine wins. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Central on the weekends. Every single day we upload a video, so do not miss them. Subscribe, notifications, like, comment. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be going for this tomorrow. Peace out.